everybody. Welcome back to my ranting series. This is JT O'Malley 9681. This is a ranting video about the executive order number 63 of 2020 from the Commonwealth of Virginia Office of the Governor. In the order of Public Health Emergency 5, requirement to wear face covering while inside buildings. Now I will say this from the beginning. I do wear a face mask when I go out to a grocery store or any place like that. I do it out of consideration to the community. But as far as the so-called pandemic, it has been proven time and time again that so many of the so-called coronavirus related deaths the coronavirus had nothing to do with it why do you think they keep putting it on people who have died who didn't even have it in their systems and anybody who tries to say the truth the world tries to silence them the doctors who have told the truth have been getting fired the very first doctor who ever told the truth about anything was in China he was Chinese they put him in prison, he ended up dying, and they claimed that he died of the coronavirus. He didn't die from the coronavirus, he didn't have anything of that in his system. This is way too easy to spot. That those who want this world global government want to control all of the people of the world through fear. And the only people who could clearly see this are those who are true to the Lord Jesus Christ like myself and so that makes those of us who are true not to worry there are those who do worry because they believe that there's something very strongly going on yes there are symptoms of this virus even though this virus is man-made it's not natural but they're the exact same symptoms as every single flu in the world and many many other illnesses all you need is to have any trace of the coronavirus or any of the symptoms prior to your death and then that's all they had to use to prove that oh they died of coronavirus you know what there have been recent shootings where people have died from these recent shootings and you know what they're trying to do and people are gullible enough to believe it oh they all died of coronavirus no they all died of gunshot wounds ridiculous now this new executive order by someone who shouldn't even be in office Commonwealth of Virginia which there's no such thing anymore because because the Commonwealth doesn't help people that's what Commonwealth is supposed to do is help people not control them continues to respond to COVID-19 pandemic measures undertaken over the blah 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 slowed the spread of the virus however its transmission continues to threaten the communities um, if it's been slowed how is it still that doesn't make any sense to me as we open it should we should become even more vigilant look at this studies of the virus show that a substantial number of individuals within with coronavirus are asymptomatic in addition individuals who contract the virus may still transmit the virus to others before ever showing symptoms. That can happen. It can happen with so many other illnesses before you even realize you even have them. So that can be very possible. Therefore, someone with no symptoms could spread by speaking, coughing, or sneezing. As more people venture back to business, employees are put in a vulnerable position when they come in without face covering. Well, we need to have better face coverings than the ones that we have right now because it actually does become difficult to breathe in them. And my face gets hot very fast in those masks. So I can't wear mine for very long. We must make sure workers are safe. Face coverings can help stop the spread. It can. Face coverings may, face coverings may not. Remember, it is very possible for there to be a leak in your face mask. 
even if your face mask is 100% intact. This is why the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends wearing cloth face coverings, even those made from household items or common materials in a public setting. Strongly urge to wear them when leaving their homes, but as the indoor settings to which the public has access, mere encouragement is not enough. Therefore, by virtue of authority, blah, 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 everyone aged 10 and over who enter or exit traveling through, spending time and blah, 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 must have their mouths and nose covered. Personal care and personal grooming, including but not limited to beauty salons, barbershops, spas, massage centers, tanning salons, Blah, 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 blah. Brick and mortar retail. Both essential and non-essentials. Food and beverage establishments, including but not limited to restaurants, dining, food courts, breweries, microbreweries, blah, 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 blah. Entertainment or reaction businesses, including but not limited to he tracks historic horse racing facilities, theaters, performing arts, all this other kind of stuff. You, you people can can pause the video at your leisure and read all this. Train stations, bus stations, well, you know, all that. All that's pretty obvious. As well as waiting in congregating areas associated with for, boarding public transportation. This requirement shall not apply in any area under federal jurisdiction or control. Why is it the federal doesn't have to do this, but the public does? The federal does not run the public. Completely against the Constitution right here. Completely against the Constitution. I hope somebody in Virginia gets the governor to, to watch this video. Because this is BS right here. Any other indoor place shared by groups of people who are in close proximity to each other. This reaction does not apply to persons while inside their residence or the personal residence of another. Okay. I'll get I'll give it for that one right there. That's fair enough. Face coverings may be removed to participate in a religious ritual. See now that see that is separation of church and state. Because the government does not have any rights whatsoever to step in and tell anything religious, whether it's Christian, Jew, it, uh, Muslim, Bo Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever. No government has any right to step in and say, you have to do what we say. So that's good right there. State or local government buildings win access for the purpose of serving public services. With the exception of students in daycare centers, or participating in per in-person classes in in K in kindergarten, 12 education, or institutions of higher education. So they would let kindergartners through 12th grade, seniors in high school, and higher education go without face masks. With everything else that that is being said here, they're letting all students go without face masks. Even though I don't believe anybody needs to wear a face mask unless if they are actually vulnerable because their health or whatever that can make them even more vulnerable as a result. But yet, students don't have to wear masks. That's a contradiction right there. All right, face coverings required employees of essential retail business. All employees of these kind of businesses shall wear a face covering whenever working in customer facing areas. Well, that's because you have to actually look at people face to face and you might have to be somewhat close in a way even though there may be something separating you. So okay I can understand that. Enforcement. Virginia Department of Health shall have authority to enforce this order. Any willful violation or refusal or failure or neglect to comply punishable by misdemeanor court for violation of the order 
No minor shall be subject to criminal penalty for failure to wear a face covering. And of course, failure and refusal are two different things. Uh, neglect, pay little or no attention, fail to heed. I don't know why they even use the word neglect in situations like this, because neglect can mean either failure or refusal, so that shouldn't even be there. <laughs> adults accompanying Myers should be the should use the adults' judge, best judgment with respect to placing face coverings on a minor between the ages of 2 through 9 while inside a public area. Adults accompanying minors 10 through 18 shall use reasonable effort to prompt. Okay, I'll give that a pass. Medical grade mask and personal protective equipment should be reserved for medical personnel. The use of cloth face coverings does not replace does not replace the need to m maintain six feet of so of social distancing, clean disinfectant, frequently touched surfaces. Blah 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 blah. Stay home when sick. Well, that's just plain obvious. And practice frequent hand washing. The requirement to wear a face covering does not apply to while eating or drinking. Individuals exercising or using exercise equipment because you because you will be breathing heavy. So that also means when I when I'm going to take a walk outside around the uh, property of where my apartment building is. I do not have to wear a mask because I'm breathing heavy. Now, if I'm going to sit and take a rest or something, and I'm able to start breathing a little better and not be so fatigued, then I should put my mask on just for the amount of time until I feel I'm ready to get up and continue to exercise. But as far as actually exercising, I do not have to wear the mask while I'm doing that. Well, that. That's a good thing, then. Any person who has trouble breathing, unconscious, also one who's pretty much unable to breathe with the mask. That's pretty much what that means. That's pretty much what they're saying with this. Or otherwise unable to remove the face covering without assistance. People like that, like someone who has autism or something, does not necessarily need to wear the mask I mean you can have them wear it but you can also set the mask up in a way to where it's to where you can easily take it off and take where they can easily take it off and take and and put it on and actually be able to breathe but even then face masks are not 100% because there are still chinks where air can still get in and out more exceptions any person seeking to communicate with the hearing impaired for which the mouth needs to be visible for like someone who is like so hard of hearing with such a bad hearing loss or is pretty much deaf they need to be able to read lips and you may need to get close or otherwise they may not be able to understand you when temporary removal of face covering it is necessary to secure government or medical services and people with health conditions that prohibit wearing face covering nothing in this order shall require the use of face covering by any person from whom doing so would be contrary to their health blah, blah, blah. well I have to give I have to give them this for being thoughtful on that because there are other governors in the United States who could care less like the governor but she's from Michigan and she there are pictures of her not practicing social distancing it was a bar or some kind of public place she was wine tasting with other people when she told that the whole state was inaccessible for anyone to do that at this time she went out and did it herself then she turned around and said oh I only said that as a joke I remember her saying that people like her do not have any business in office of, of any stature for any reason 
People like her are a disgrace to the United States of America. Any person who declines to wear a face covering because of a medical condition shall not be required to produce or carry medical documentation verifying, nor shall the person be required to identify the precise underlying medical condition. I will say there are going to be people who are going to take this for granted. I will say this. There are going to be people who are going to take that for granted and not even have any problems like that just so they won't have to wear the face mask. I can see it coming. Now, I'm not going to do that. I will still be considerate. The Department of Labor and Industry, except for paragraph B above, this order does not apply to employees, employers, subcontractors, or other independent contractors in the workplace. Emergency regulation, standards of control, prevent, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can always pause the video at your leisure and read the stuff yourself, but as far as for most people that, I, that I'm pretty sure of, this right here does not apply. And then, of course, the effective date and all, and all the official signatures. Now, even though this is a ranting video and not a testimony, I still need to show this. I'll have to go into the scriptures Romans chapter 14 verse 14 through 21 this is something that God had spoke to me through the senior pastor at the place of worship where I currently go I know I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus Christ that there is nothing unclean of itself but to him that esteems anything to be unclean to him is unclean and to him is talking about the person who thinks it's unclean then to them it is unclean. But if your brother or sister be grieved with your meat, now walks you not charitably, which is meaning that if someone sees, if someone is bothered by you doing something or not doing something that they feel is bad, then you should not do it or you should do it and destroy not him with your meat for whom Christ died which is meaning that don't sit there and do or not do something that somebody is grieved upon in a way to make them feel bad to purposely make them feel bad or you know whatever the case because Christ died for those people just the same as Christ died for you. It is not saying, however, that if you're doing stuff that God says is right to not do it because people are grieved by it. That's when you need to stand up for what God told you to do and, and even show them if you're able of why you are doing it, even if they do not agree with it. See, this scripture is not saying that if people think you shouldn't just say, for example, spread the gospel because to them the gospel is 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 false well God said spread the gospel so if they don't want to hear the gospel then that you do not have to tell have to spread the gospel to them they don't do not have to listen but that doesn't mean to not spread the gospel at all because they don't like it so don't get that mixed up let not then your good be evil spoken of. That's what I just said. Anything you're doing that is good, do not let that be spoken evil of. Stand up for what you are doing that is actually good in God's eyes. You don't have to force it on anybody, but you should still stand up for it. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. So it's just like these face these face coverings. It's not about face coverings or not wearing face coverings, or even though that God has pretty much showed me a lot of things that should be very obvious to the world about this COVID-19. It's not as bad as they want to make it seem to be. But people are so gullible. 
It has been proven right in front of everybody's eyes. And so many people are still gullible enough to believe it. I'm not. Now, it's what God is telling me is that it's not about that. That I should still be considerate and wearing the mask where I'm asked to wear a mask at. Even if I may need to take it off, like wipe sweat off my face, let my face cool down a little bit or whatever, step away from some people if I need to do that, you know, whatever the case. If I'm exercising, I do not have to wear the mask because that's what the, the executive order says. So it's not about the mask, it's not about COVID-19. It's about being respectful, being considerate. That is a righteous act, which can bring peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Now for he that in these things serve Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. See, I'm still serving by being respectful. Let us therefore follow all the things which make for peace and things therewith one may edify another. So we should all do these things, even if we may think that the masks are stupid, which I personally believe they're completely stupid. But we should do them in a considerable way so that we may edify another, build one another. For meat destroy not the works of God. So these face masks and these orders of COVID-19 will not destroy the works of God. Even though we want to de defend our God, those of us who are true, that's why I had became upset yesterday reading th this executive order. And those who claim to be true to the Lord are clearly showing that they're focusing more and believing more on what the world is saying rather than looking in, looking deeper into things and research to find out the truth. So they're not putting any faith at all in God and trust at all in God, which mocks God. That makes me angry. But that does not destroy the work of God. So all things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eats with offense. So I had to really understand yesterday that it is not a good thing for me to let myself be so angry like that because Satan knows the truth and I realized well, Satan was using the scriptures and the truth to make me more angry than I really even needed to be in the first place. Which, therefore, if we don't want to wear our face mask or listen to any of the stuff from the from this executive order, then we would be offending others because of what we choose to believe. Now, if the if people who follow the world do this stuff that's on them we cannot make decisions for other people but we need to watch ourselves so wear the face mask as much as you can pop as you possibly can if you have your face mask with you and you don't have it on at the moment and say a police officer or security guard or whoever comes up and asks you if you have a mask or whatever and you say yeah and you say that it's in your pocket you took it off so that you can kind of kind of rest a little bit or like my face gets hot or whatever and so just trying to cool down they might come up and remind you to put your mask back on when you're ready or whatever the case but if they try to force you to put your mask back on regardless then they're doing something that's wrong but do not go out and refuse to wear a face mask and act in ways that will offend others because you don't believe what they believe. It is not good to eat flesh nor to drink wine nor anything where your brother stumbles or is offended or is made weak, like I just said. Well, that's pretty much it for this, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video has taught some of you something or, or at least reminded some of you of something. Follow me on social media, on my gaming channel on YouTube, JT O'Malley9681's gaming channel. Also on Dailymotion, BitChute, Facebook, Twitter, 
GamingAnyone.com and LinkedIn. Links will be in the video description. This is JTML and S681 signing off. I'll see you all next time.